Good evening, everyone. And welcome back to Final Fantasy XI, where we are tonight going to attempt to uh, finish up Chapter 5 of the um, Promethea storyline here. So, as a quick recap, we've gone along with Laurence and found uh, Selfius. We've gone along with um, Tenson and gotten reason to believe that Preach might actually be the keeper of the apocalypse. And we have one set of uh, missions left here at the end of the sort of mega mission here for the three paths. And that's where Messenger Scabber, Ulmia, has journeyed to Sandoria, search for any word on the whereabouts of Preach. So that's what we're going to do today, follow along with that. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do it in a pretty timely manner, so we can finish up the mission here. And potentially um, even start some of the Chapter 6 missions. The earlier missions in the chapter tends to be shorter, so... I'm getting the feeling that we should be able to grab some of them. First things first though. We need to head to Sandoria. And I believe that we're going to start off talking to um, the old lady that we spoke to there before. Sandoria, is that southern Sandoria? Uh, let's have a look and we'll double check here. It is southern Sandoria. And it should be to the west here. Here we are, and off we go. We are heading up to the manor here, I believe. And that's where we find the lady in question. Here we are, it's the left room. It is. So let's have a chat with her again here. Ah, you are the adventurer that stopped by before. Did you happen to find Preach? I see. I heard from Ulmia about what has transpired. It is distressing to hear that Preach, as ill as she is, is involved in all this. And now Ulmia says that she is missing and that the Genoan government has issued a warrant for her capture. it. you are acquainted with Preach, are you not? Though I met her only once long ago, I cannot believe that she could do the things the Duchy is accusing her of. It may simply be a needless worry, but there is one thing that troubles me. When Cardinal Mildarian brought her disciple Preach to our residence, my husband told me to watch out for her. When I asked why, he said that her birth was a great misfortune, and that in due time she would commit a great crime against Vanadil and her children. This was her destiny. That was all he would say. Oh, do not worry, Lafayette. I have abandoned all self-interest and pledged my services to the Dawn Goddess. I do not care whether or not one has committed crimes in the past. I cannot turn my back on one who pleads for help. 
I have offered my assistance to Ulmia in her time of need. I have also suggested that she stay here. Please, would you be so kind as to relay an important message to her? Moments ago, a high priest from the cathedral, Chasulvish, stopped by. He asked to speak with Ulmia. I believe she is somewhere near the port. I would be extremely grateful if you would find her and tell her to visit the cathedral. So, we need to head to the port. I'm realizing both doors here actually head to the same room, so we couldn't miss. Which is nice. So yes, this should be the last path that we need to take for chapter 5 of Promethea here. And I believe there's 8 chapters in total. So we're not there quite yet, but we're coming up to the end of the expansion missions here in a while. Let's see, let's travel to another home point in the current region. Port Sandoria. Let's go with number one. That's fine. I wonder who that beautiful young lass is waiting for waiting for every day. Well, let's go there. Take that again. I wonder who that beautiful young lass is waiting for every day and every night down by the docks. I dare you to go down there and ask her name. You think you could handle that? You got to be joking. We're still on duty, though I do get off in three hours. A fine tune it is. Never heard it before, but it somehow sounds familiar. I never thought I'd live to hear that melody again. Brings back memories, it does. You still haven't found the girl you're looking for? No, I have not. Don't worry, she'll turn up, I guarantee it. You'd have to be crazy not to be drawn by the sweet melody of Ulmia's harp. Hey, music lady, you wouldn't happen to be looking for somebody, would you? Uh, yes, I'm, I am. I'm searching for a young girl. Her hair is light blue, and she's dressed in the theologian gowns of the Nasian Cathedral. Hmm. Blue hair. Theologian gowns. Sounds a lot like the girl that the guys up in Juno are looking for. I, um... Kind Traveler, do you know anything of the girl that the Duchy seeks? Yeah, well, it, I just, it just happens to be that I'm looking for the same girl. Now, whether that girl is the same girl you're looking for, I don't know. I do not mean to pry, but has Juno hired you to find the girl they are searching for? Does it look like I work for the Duchy? 
that's what you want to believe. Go right ahead. You, Elvan, are all the same. Only seeing what you want to see. Hey, did you know that, along with the girls, there's another warrant out for the capture of some strange boy? How much do you want to bet that those two are together? <laughs> I do not know. But if the girl and you and I are searching for is the same person, I can tell you this. He is not one to run. Huh. Tell catching mice is what we meet for a live for. But it's turning out to look like this job is going to be a little different. Oh well. I don't have the time to play two games with cat and mouse. So I guess I'll just concentrate on the boy. Wait. What? What do you know of the boy? <laughs> Music lady. You should be careful about what you ask. The answer might just bite you back. If the girl you are looking for is the same one I'm seeking, then we'll meet again. If you still want to know the answer to your question, then I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Until next time. Lafayette! Are you alright? I'm fine. I do not know who that Meeper was, but I have a feeling she is searching for Preach. Those eyes. It was as if she was hunting a prey. Is... is Preach alright? She is, is she not? Please tell me she is. Preach is fine in trouble. Uh, I mean, she's in trouble. So you feel the same as I, Lafayette. However, as long as you are here by my side, I believe that everything will be fine. I... Oh, I'm sorry. I did not mean... Lady Hinari has introduced me to many people she believed may know something about Preach, but I have uncovered nothing. I'm so worried. If anything were to happen to her... What? You have a message from Lady Hinari. I have to meet with the High Priest Shasselbach in the Cathedral. Thank you very much, Lafayette. I will make for Northern Sandora right away. To Northern Sandora, there we go. Let's have a look at the missions here. Entanglement. Lady Henry has informed you that the High Priest Chester Beach. Vige, Vige, uh, anyway, has an important message for Ulmia regarding Preach. Hurry to Port Sandora and accompany Ulmia to the cathedral. Cathedral, it is. Current region, Northern Sandoria. Uh, uh, that should be fine. The home points are very far from each other, so I don't think it matters, really. So, on to the cathedral. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly where we need to go here, but I think it's one of the side rooms. Ah, yes, here we are. Oh, Lafayette, 
My curiosity was sufficiently piqued to do some investigating on my own into the knight's mistal. It is lovely to see you again, High Priest Chasselbeige. I am afraid I neglected to properly introduce myself at our first meeting. My name is Ulmia. I was advised to seek your counsel by Lady Hinnery. Now I understand. The reason for your keen interest in the nature of paradise, the curse of the Twilight God, is clear to me. They do, Lumia, and you, Lafayette. You need not fear being overheard in this place. Let us be entirely truthful with one another and speak openly in these matters. Matters concerning the Tamnesian Choir's efforts to complete the five verses. You know of the song? Before the advent of the Great w Before the advent of the Great War, you came to visit Lady Hinnery with Cardinal Mildarian and her companion, did you not? I was permitted to accompany Pops Mushavet and was present at the proceedings. I am certain that at the time you had little idea of the reason behind the gathering. It was, in fact, a meeting to improve the failing relations between the cathedrals of Sandoria and Tavnasia. In particular, there seemed to be no end to the unsavory rumors surrounding the Tavnasian Cathedral. This was perhaps due to the strict policy of secrecy that the Tavnasians had adopted following the period of internecine, con internecine conflict. Sandoria. Oh boy. Good work, translation team. The Pops sent a messenger to determine the accuracy of these rumors. However, Cardinal Mildarin arrived accompanied by two young girls, and one of those girls, you, Ulmia, sang a certain song. Yes, I remember. But my voice was still untrained, and Pops Kamushabet grew furious at my terrible singing. Oh, child, that is not why he was angry. The reason behind the Pops' outburst was his fear that the song you were singing would be completed. He was frantic to stem that dreadful power of that song. Dreadful power? It is perhaps for the best that you remain ignorant of the truth. This story finds its beginning almost 500 years ago. It re reaches back to an era considered to be a time of humiliation for the Elvan. At that time, the Kuan continent was under the control of an army dispatched by the Federation of Windurst. The Elvan race had yet to form a nation of their own, and the numerous tribes lived in forests apart from one another. But even as now, the blood of the Elvan ran deep with pride. Swearing, swearing in victory upon his sword, the hero Lanfeu de Regui came forth to lead our people to freedom. Along with General Alphalon Tajo, who was later to become the Marquis of Tamnasia, they founded a kingdom on the strength of two valuable artifacts. However, after the battle to emancipate the Elvan, both of these treasures were lost. In their respective places in the cathedrals of Sandoria and Tamnasia, two mysterious stone tablets were left behind. We toiled long and hard to solve the riddle of the tablets, and were finally able to retrieve one of the objects in the age of King Vampire, the Holy Sword, Lightbringer. In spite of this success, the Tavnasian Cathedral refused to reveal the contents of the second tablet. A secret investigation, instigated by the Sandorian Cathedral, discovered the writings upon the stone were actually the verses of a song. Yes, you know this song only too well. 
It was the lay of the immortals. It was a song that would conclude the manifestation of a deity. A song to call the gods. I never knew. The Tamnasian Cathedral had deciphered the words, but the melody yet eluded them. The search for one who could perform the song was apparently long and arduous. However, when you appeared and were able to sing the opening verse, the song showed its promise of power. But I... I was told the lay was sung to prove the preach was not the abhorrent one. I know this. That is why I summoned you here to explain the truth behind these matters. I have learned from Lady Hinnery that, that a knight is searching for Cardinal Mildarian under orders from the Sandorian Cathedral. From what I could discover, he has traveled to the Northlands to learn more about the Twilight God. I know not her purpose, but Cardinal Mildarian was also seeking knowledge regarding Promethea. Cardinal Mildarian? Please, heed my words. Never forget the significance of that song. Or your own worth as one who holds knowledge of its mysteries. Cardinal discovers that you still live. Lady Ulmia, I implore you. Find your companion and return to Tabnasia. I spoke with the researchers in Bosadine on the matters of Sir Laurence. From what I can gather, your friend has most likely been transported to, to the Rhinostery in the Federation of Windurst. That is good news! Thank you, High Priest Chesselvage. We will continue our search in the city of Windurst. Well, I think I pronounced his name, you know, six different ways there, but other than that. We are getting a lot of uh, lore in quick succession here on the in this mission. And then two windows. And we need to head to the Windows Waters on point number three, I believe, here. Yes, please. And we're looking for a character named Karu Toto. Let's have a look. And the left side? Yes. So, I believe they are giving us more than one quest from this character, so we'll see if it's the right one or not here as we go through. Mama. Huh? Hey, I've been looking everywhere for you. You adventurer folk can't him seem to sit still. Can you imagine what it's like trying to find you? The nerve of people nowadays. Well, I haven't exactly been out searching for you. Not in the strict technical sense of the word. But you had me so worked, worked perked up. I haven't been able to properly meditate. You've heard of the Prime Avatar that inhabits the realm of dreams, right? Wipe that instant look of your face. I know you know better. I have received a summons for you to come from the Prime Avatar. Yes, you, and also your buddy buddies. These past few days have been a night, uh, night or rumor. Literally. The Prime Avatar statue watched me up in the, my dreams, and I thought there was a goner. Scenes of windows flashed before my eyes. But all he said was, 
come to Sosha and ordered me to relay the message to you and your palsy wansies. Do you see what I went through all because of you? But anyway, I've told you and I've done my job. So get your tails away to down to Sosha, like Mr. Prime Avatar said. I'll never be able to meditate properly again. You don't. So up with you now. Shoo. So, this seems related, but I'm not sure if it's actually the one we are looking for here. Um, uh, nope, it doesn't appear to be, so. I wonder if that's actually given us a quest, though. Let's have a look. Mandricore Mad Waking Dreams. Tabs has informed Kurutoto that he is waiting for you at the Shroud and Maw in Sosha, very deep in the Northlands. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for here, though. Sosha. <laughs> Whoa, your aura is blinding. What on Van deal are you carrying? Look, I can't sleep with you standing there like a muddled mandra mandragora. Hmm? You're looking for a girl with cracky spiky hair you could use as nails. Oh, I know the one. She was say to, taken to Dr. Joran Oren's mansion. But are you a friend of hers? That girl is a disaster waiting to happen. Unlike the light I see in your aura, she is surrounded by a dark, creepy, weepy cloud. It's that very cloud of doom and gloom that has made her a target of the great being I see in my dreams. But now that someone, somewhere, has activated our, the rules of Sosha, the great being can no longer act freely really. That being is furious warriors for over losing its prey. I don't already think I'll be seeing any pleasant dreams for a while. So I believe that's the correct one that we needed to trigger here. So with that, let's head to the professor's home again. I believe it's number one. There we go. Up this way. Let's so we can play more quickly. I'm probably getting a long cutscene here anyway, so probably fine. Hello, Professor. Aren't you the adventurer that brought the feed those three catastrophes to my doorstep? What disasters do you have a feel in store for me today? I might have been caught the feed off guard by past events, but this time I'm ready for you. Pardon my intrusion, but would this be the residence of the former Rhinocery Mr. Minister? Not yet. Thank the goodness, goddess you are here. It seems you were on one step ahead of me. Well, well. Who is this enchanting if a young lady? <laughs> Did you think if this would be enough to startle me silly? I'll have you know if I am one of the calmest, most unshakable. Is this the residence of Dr. Yoran Oran? Is the doctor around? 
I am the me from Tracker, Shikari Y. Are you ready to meet your doom, Dr. Yoran Oran? Uh, me, 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 friend, Tracker. Ordinarily, I would have you, I would have you faint in terror after you've heard what I've come to say. Dr. Yoran Oran, surely you already suspect the reason I am here. Come, come, there's no point in hiding it. We Mithran trackers are able to sense the abhorrent power. Abhorrent power? You, Taru Taru, have had a little experience with this type of magical energy. But the Mithran know it all well. A stone pulsing with dark power was the cause of bloodshed within my tribe. You will hand over the stone to me immediately. The Magicite. Now, sweetheart. Miss Misran Tracker, I understand if your concerns, but, but, but are you sure you don't have me confused if with someone else? I am an avid if researcher of things, all things earthen, but I have a few no samples of this dreadful Magicite you speak of. Is that right, Sugar Plum? I don't usually like to say this up front, but I do love the sight of a bright gushing blood. I told you I don't know anything about the Fiddy Stone. I can't give a feed you what I don't have. Hey. Enough of this. How dare you threaten this poor man with violence? Do you think, truly believe this tyrannical man will leave to any sort of justice? He swears that he does not have the magicite. If he doesn't have it, then maybe you carry the stone. Or maybe this adventurer. <laughs> You're way off the mark, ladies. The only person carrying magicite here is me, for I am the great Prish. Prish. Hey guys, sorry to keep you waiting, but I'm, but now that I'm here, everything will be just peachy. Just peachy? Look at the situation we're in, you ninny. That's far enough. You kitties play far too rough. Dr. Shantoto. Chicory, why, you rabid feline? You may be a mission tracker, but I'll be a cardinal's mother before I let you run amok in the city of mine. How I loathe complications. And you, Yoran Oren. Since I have the floor, I'll speak while I can. This story is going to. This story is going to the press. Another legitimate, illegitimate child and Elba know this. What? No, you've got it all wrong, Yvi. Now to the heart of the matter. Preach, show everyone the stone and end this meaningless shatter. Show them why the magicite is not yours to give. Show them why it will be impossible for you to hand it over the stone and live. What does she mean? If that's whatever it takes, nobody blink now. How? How is this possible? The magicite, embedded in her flesh. Magicite is a stone that awakens an overwhelming darkness within the possessor. The possessor eventually sheds a vestige of mortality, becoming an anathema to other living creatures. Tell me, cutie pie. 
Why do you have that stone embedded within you? Why have you not become an abhorred being feared by all? An abhorred, an abhorred being, huh? I just can't get away from that word, can I? Well, I've stayed in this place long enough. I gotta go, go throw down with Bahamut. The fate of an ideal is at stake. Bahamut? Do you mean the Worm King Bahamut? No, my uncle Bahamut. Of course I mean the Worm King. Under normal circumstances, it would be my duty as a Mithran Tracker to gain possession of that magicite by any means necessary, even if it meant carving it out by, of your hide. But why don't you accompany me to the Atua Chasm instead, honeybee? There's someone there who would know a lot about that black magicite you have. Hmm, that could be fun. Preach, what are you thinking? Well, Mia, I'm gonna go with this cat lady. She might be able to help me with find the story of Amnesia. Preach. Lafayette. Take care, Wilmia. And thanks for your help, Docs. Docs! Why is it that cursed stone is in Precious chest? And why has she decided to seek out the Star of Tamnasia after all this time? I must go to Atua Chasm as well. Right. Uh, so we're heading to Atua Chasm. I think we have a uh, warp there somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure where it would be and if it would be a. Uh, I'm assuming it would be a. Uh, survival guide here. Yeah, let's have a look. If we didn't actually unlock one when we went there before, that would be awkward. Um, let's head to Port Winders. Focus by the entrance. So if it's there, it should be under Argano. Um, so let's have a look. And if not, we we'll need to find the correct way there again. Uh, no, we don't have it. That would be the closest one we do have then. Maze of Shakrami. Do we have anything in there? That would be under Cold Shushu. We do have that, okay. Let's get over there then. Close enough, and we'll need to hand out through um, F5 to the top here. I forget if the enemies are actually low or high enough level to trigger us. Not sure why, but they all didn't trigger that probably. Maybe because I was moving, but I thought I stopped moving before I started the ads here. Well, anyway. Uh, 
Let's have a look. I think there are a couple of weeks to be worthwhile here. That should be fine. And then, uh, right, this we're heading up. We're in here somewhere. Uh, here, I believe. Actually, we're not heading up. We're heading down here. how far this will put us out from where we need to go but we can ride out there at least so you should be able to get there decently quickly We need to go to H6. That's far in the north here along the bridge, it seems. So let's have a look and see if we can find our way there. And if we can. It would be nice to go grab the uh, on point there as well. Right. So that's not going to get us there. Can we go along the other side? Not very far. Let's head up here then. I think we had an easier time navigating our last time we came through. So we just needed to take aim at the big rock. But it sucks we had north for now, and it should be fine enough, I think. Right, so we're coming out here. Let's see if we can find another uh, entrance north here hopefully looks like a cave sort of and then so Continue on here. Again, we're looking for H6 and looking for an exit to another area. We're not going through there. So let's go this way, I suppose. Hmm. 
Where does this put us out to? Uh, th those are all the same, same way, I think. So let's head up here. Are we just going all the way back where we came right now? I sure hope not. No, we totally are. Really? So maybe I need to head over to the other side here. We'll have a look over there. In that case. Big old maze here. More so than the area they actually call maze. Be like. Okay, so we're coming over here now. This this feels like we're closer, at least. Let's keep going here. Enjoy the jaunty music. Uh, while we move along. Oh, okay, so this will actually take us to home point at least, I think. So, let's go ahead and see if we can grab that one. No? Okay. So this puts us out where? And can we enter elsewhere again? So let's take it there. Let's have a look further north. See if there's another cave over there. Smart way to do this would have probably been to grab this off stream while I was here last time, but I didn't really think about that the other way, so there we go. Yes, up the western side of the map. Should probably bring us out to where we can find home point. Crossing over here. Because this isn't the way we came, right? Sure hope not. Uh, doesn't seem like it, but... Let's see. Ah, no, here we are. This is G6. Can we head for Reston and... Go there? Or... No. Okay, we've got the home point at least here. Yeah, I imagine that we just follow it along this way then. Let's mount up again. Not that we have very far to go. Actually, not very far to go at all. Oh. We are now in Boneyard Gully. So, uh, we need to and through here somewhere. It's not map for this area, so I'm assuming it's pretty small. And we'll be coming up to fight. Not sure we'll have the fight in this instance or not, if we're actually gonna go into a battlefield again, but let's bring forth our friends just in case. Here 
There we go. Yeah, I think we're pretty over leveled for where we are at. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad here. Um, so it's actually larger than I thought it would be. But I don't see anything over here. Goblin footprints, but I don't think that's what we're looking for. So let's head over to the western side here, or northwestern side. We're looking for a dark miasma. This looks like it. Right, and we're looking for the headwind battlefield, and that's the only one we have here, so we'll need to call everyone again, I believe. So Mildarin wasn't in the safe hold after all. Her whereabouts may still elude us, but I'm certain the Cardinal lives. Mildarin must be found and punished for her sins before the whole world ends up back this barren land. Leave it up to me, sis. Once I track down the theologian, Frisch, she'll be able to tell me where the Cardinal is hiding. Frisch's trail leads to the Rhinocerine Windurst. I'll head there right now. Too late, Buttercup. You've got to move a lot faster than that. How did you... Phew! Krish, you haven't changed at all. Yeah, I watched my diet. Good to know you're still kicking too, Miss Tracker. It's been a while. A meeting of old friends? This girl is no friend of mine. She is the youth that manipulated the Tavnasian Cathedral alongside Cardinal Mildorian. Do not tell me that you've forgotten our warning. When the Worm King returns, a new war will erupt between the dragons and Altana's children. Before that happens, we must wake the sleeping gods with the lay of the immortals and beseech their aid. Can you not see? The future that we most feared has come to pass. Of course we meet from trackers carry heavy sins of our own. We fail to see through your honeyed words, even going so far as to aid you in your demented plans. Whoever would have believed that those plans involved resurrecting the Twilight God with a lay of the immortals? Now hang on there, Furball. Aren't you getting all your facts mixed up? It's true that Cardinal Mildarian never really intended to wake up your fusty old gods, but we never did anything to bring back Promethea. Then why does the girl behind you sing the lay of the immortals? And the magicite you possess has the same material used by the beastmen to revive the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord? Don't play coy with us. If you had any. If you had no intention of awakening their sleeping god, you why would you need to find a singer for the Lay of the Immortals? What have you brought forth from the abyss of death with your power of magicite? I give up. There's no talking to you guys when you are all get all fanatical like this. That's why we never told you the truth. Why, you little prat? Yes, you're right. We are singular in our purpose. If you understand our seal, then there is nothing left to talk about. 
We are not here to probe your other sins. We are here to demand payment for a single crime. The crime of singing the Lay of the Immortals. You will be held responsible for the sins of Mildarian. There will be no hearing. Prepare to face your judgment. Right. Bring forth the trusts. Let's see how this goes. Not sure how strong they are compared to us right now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Where are you at? Down here. Um start out with Chicory X, I think. And let's make sure we use the enemy as well. Oh, this is going pretty quickly, I think. Right. Uh... Pick the Dragoon next. That's soon, but let's take out the Dark Knight first here. Actually, we don't even need to take out the pets. Why? No, strength left. Some strange power at work. You guys can't kill us. We've spent a long time dealing with things that people were never meant to encounter. Now we're gonna finish what we set out to do. What are you? I know exactly what you girls are trying to get at. You want to save everyone, save and a deal. I know I'm right because I feel that way too. We thought bringing back Prometheus was the only way. Preach, he never mentioned. Mildorian, I knew it. If you want me to pay for that crime, I'm happy to do it. But not for you. Not for the terrestrial avatars. Not for the sleeping gods. And definitely not for the beastmen. I'll do it for me. Because my crime was abandoning myself. Now I want some answers. Where can I find the Star of Tamnesia? Ah, we know this place. Where is this? To Ulugaran range. Maybe we don't know this place. Well, the beastmen carried it pretty far, huh? But that's my magic site. 
I gotta get it, get it back. Preach. Come back. Well, we've done it. Now, where do we go to actually leave her? I'm assuming. And we're pointed in the direction that we need to go. Yeah, seems likely. I'm assuming this brings us back to uh, the tunnel where we came in there. Or somewhere along there, at least. Indeed. Right, uh, let's have a look at the missions here again. I believe we've visited that one now, most than likely. Things are dead. Preach has run off to the Ulgarand range. Why has she gone to this desolate place? What truths does she seek? Right. Uh, how do we actually get there? Baldonia. It's connected to Sarkabard, huh? We can go to Sarkabard. Uh, no, we're not out in the same area where we came in. Well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and teleport back home then. We'll travel on from there. Now then, Sarkabard. I think that has a poem. Point if I'm not misremembering. Uh, Baldonia, Castle Swall Keep. That's not where I wanted to go, so. Let's take the book instead, I guess. Teleport me, please. To Baldonia, Dark Bard. Very good. We can probably get there through. Let's see here. Oh, hey, another cutscene. Lafayette, now that time has passed from. Now that I have passed from the mortal realm, I have only you to turn to. The time left to me is short. Forty years ago, I came into contact with the insidious power of this land and rose from the grave. However, at the same time, this world laid claim to a part of my soul. I have been released from the hate that consumed me, but the half of my soul that was taken captive all those years ago is calling to me. It beco has become a towering darkness, a raging hatred. Spawned from the depths of my being. Very soon I will be drawn into that soul. I no longer have the strength to resist. The soul that was divided will become whole once more, and that rage will take on physical form. A new Shadow Lord will be born. Surely you have sensed the growing evil. The beastmen armies that are imprisoned here are massing for battle. They plan to return to the world of their origin, the realm that exists beneath the light of hope. 
My link to you will soon be severed, so, so listen carefully. Thirty years ago, an expeditionary squad formed from the elite soldiers of each nation was sent to investigate the Northlands. You must have seen their memories when you first laid your hand upon these chunks of magicite. Seek out the markings that the expedition members left behind. They will aid you in gaining entrance to this world. You must defeat the Shadow Lord before our unification is complete. My hopes go with you, Lafayette. Now, the question becomes, where does this fit in? Let's have a look at the quests here. Uh, Abyssi, Aedlin, Mandragora, Mad, no, no. Yeah, pretty sure it's none of those. It's not that one. Is it part of the nation missions? No. It's not Silart, it's not Promethea. It's not Treasures. No. Rumors from the West. No. What lies beyond? No. 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 That which curls the blood. No. I'm not sure what that was all about, actually. Either way, uh, I believe, let's go ahead and have a look at the map here. There should be an exit there to the range. If we head up six. Now the question becomes, how do we get up there? We will find a way. Second question, do I have a map for that area? I'm realizing. I believe I bought up most maps for uh, most of the maps for um, the Promethea uh, areas here, but I'm not sure if this is actually counts as one of them or not. It very well might not, actually, so... We'll see. Uh, let's try to head up here. Surely there's a way up here somewhere. There we go. Is this where we need to go or not? Yeah, let's find out together. Right. Nothing through here. Sort of looks correct. Then again, sort of doesn't. Um, no? Okay. I guess let's head down through here then. Maybe there's a tunnel. Tom Lettuce. Hopefully, it will bring us back to the area we're looking for.
We don't have a map. Okay, we're looking for J9. Let's head in roughly that direction then for now. So that's north and east. I believe it should be a uh, tunnel sort of thing. Question becomes where is the entrance to it? I can have a look at the map here on the wiki, I suppose. Right, this doesn't seem to be it. I guess we're heading down. This is actually quite a interesting way area, I think. I have no idea how to navigate it without the map though here, so So no way through there. There's a cave up ahead, at least there, I think. If we can find something that will bring us actually east here, though. That would be nice. This is just a big tunnel. That's south. This is further west. Right. Through a tunnel up here somewhere, perhaps? No. Okay, let's have a look at the southern exit there as well. Let's see if this puts us out somewhere that will bring us back over. That's nothing at all. Okay, right. It has to be a way around there somewhere, right? Let's see here. We head to the southeastern part here, I think there should be something. I'm assuming we don't fall down there. I didn't see anything when we were up here, but maybe. There's a way here somewhere. Um, so, based on the map, I would assume it's somewhere down here. Oh, hey, we just missed its first way right, time around, apparently. I 
Let's have a look. This puts us at two Ds at least here. J9, was that it? I think we're heading down here. Let's have a look. We are already looking for J9, J10, so if we can just head further north here, that'll probably do it, I think. Let's have a look. J9. Now to find the exit that we're looking for. Somewhere up here, probably. No, no, no. Hmm. Apparently not. Don't tell me it's actually up there. Always fall down here. Oh, hey, home point. And this may actually be the exit. Uh, let's have a look here. The other thing, we fell down the hole. Alright, let's have a look if we had this. Way. Very far up in the call. There's no map in this area. We're going to see if we can find another thing to click that will take us to where we actually need to go to fight. But once that's done, I think we're pretty much done with the mission here. So, let's see if we can find what we're actually looking for. But We're nearing the end, my friends. Not looking for goblin footprints, however. We're probably looking for this thing here. Wind pillar. We're looking for the flames of the dead, I believe. Magical barrier prevents you from moving any closer. You made it, Lafayette! Just in time, too. You were about to be the lucky recipient of a Lady Precious Punishment and Pain Special. Step aside and watch a professional at work. Whoa, get a load of this place. Why did the Beastman bring that chunk of magicide here? The poor bastard who found it would have been pretty messed up, I'd say. I suppose you wouldn't know too much about that particular chunk of magicite. The emptiness sealed within made it unique. You've heard of it, that the magicite known as the Star of Tanasia, right? And I bet you know that a piece of it was stolen and sold to stock before the war too, right? Well, an allied expedition came here to the Northlands 30 years ago. 
bearing that chunk of magicite. Its members were poisoned by the voice of darkness sealed within the stone. Give in to thy desires. Return that to thy true self. The voice beckons to the darkness within us over and over. That's why the members of the expedition went a little loopy. Can't really blame them though. I mean, you would too if the Twilight God was whispering in your ear. The voice of Promethea. What the? You're eavesdropping again? You must tell me more of this tale. I am the Rons and Mistal. Frank March M. Mistal, Royal Knight and member of the Allied Expedition, was my grandfather. Oh, so that's what? Wh so that's which one you are. In that case, I know all about you too. So you finally come back. Did you manage to avenge your grandfather's death? How did you know about that? Could it be that you're? You got it, buddy. It's your unlucky day. I'm Preach, and this here's Lafayette. You too. <laughs> I bet you've heard that nobody knows what to make of us, huh? But as that doesn't bother me one bit, you shouldn't let it bother you either. What I want to hear is the lowdown on the big boss behind the kindred of the Northlands. The Mithra seem to think that it's Promethea, but I know better than that. So who the hell is it? He's called the Divinity of Darkness by the Beastmen, apparently. I returned here to investigate that very fact. The legends of the Northern Islands tell that the Divinity of Darkness slumbers in this land. At some time in the past, the Shadow Lord followed the voice of this sleeping deity to its source. His actions led to a powerful stone in the possession of the Shadow Lord. The Divinity of Darkness created an army of demons to enter the service of his visitor. I think I'm starting to get it now. The being who the beastmen call Promethea is actually... Tell me, I must know the truth. Preach. Wait. Be on your guard. There is something strange afoot. Back to the abyss, foul beast. Let's go ahead and bring our friends out. Assuming we're pretty over leveled for this here as well, but let's see. I'm not sure if this little actually work now that I look at it here. Because it appears that we may be working with a time limit for the encounter here. Beyond the actual time limit for the encounter as it were. Let's see. Arctic Impact. Let's go ahead and weapon skill it. There we go.
Lafayette. I knew you were tough. That guy definitely has an eye for adventurers. Talk about dumb luck. What happened to their resting place of the sleeping god? You know the divinity is said to slumber here. There should be an enormous crystal of darkness here. It can't be. The beastman deity you spoke of. Oh! Is that... Stay back! The voice of darkness will have you! I will never forget that stone. This the magicite that drove the allied expedition members to madness. That stone is responsible for my grandfather's fate. No! You've come back. Welcome home, my little lost magicite. Reach. I must follow my friend. I must learn the truth. Lafayette, I shall see you back in Bastok. May the light of Altana guide you on your journey. Alright, um, back to Bastok we'll go. Let's head out of this area here first, though. Assuming we can just head out here. Here we go. That puts us back into the Ulgurand range. And we are now... Going back to Bastok. Which will also go ahead and finish out the missions for us here, I believe. So, two suits workshop we had in order to finish out the mission here. Travel to another home point, current region, Metalworks 1. Very good. I know it took us like 90 minutes or so. A little bit more than 90 minutes, I guess. At least once we've finished out speaking here. So yeah, I'm pretty effective. Uh, not the most effective because we did a lot of traveling in there, but I think we're gone through and actually done it in a decent time here. So, Sid, what do you have to say now? Ulmia, who is that with you? They're not. Yes, they are Mithran Sin Hunters. The trackers who came to our land to find Preach. Mithran Sin Hunters? Then Preach has already been punished? Of course not, Master Sid. However, we were able to find her. But when she but now she's gone again. 
and she took the magicite with her. The magicite. Fill me in on the details, Ulmia. I see. I didn't realize that Tavnasia's magicite was that powerful or that dangerous. So, it was the energy from the stone that affected the members of the multinational expedition. It invaded their hearts and minds, ultimately driving them to do un the unspeakable. Exactly. Our country's representative on the expedition found a shard of magicite and brought it back to our homeland. It was then that we, too, realized its terrifying power. However, we were never told where the shard came from. Further Mithran expeditions were sent to the Northlands to investigate the stone's origins, but they weren't unsuccessful. No, it was completely different investigation that led us to the answer. While searching for the relic of the dragon stolen from the temple of Ugla Ugalepi, we found what we were looking for. You... You met with priest and Cardinal Medarion in the Tavnasian Cathedral. After a bit of persuasion, the Cardinal showed us what they called the Star of Tavnasia. In other words, Magicite. We told her of the terrible power that the Magicite contained and demanded that she dispose of it somewhere where it would never be seen again. However, the Cardinal would not listen to reason. She would only say that the stone was necessary to wake the gods from their eternal slumber. Wake the gods, but that's... I could not bring myself to believe in Miss Shigeri's words either. Not until I heard the same story from the Sandorian Cathedral. The hymns of the Tavnasian Choir would sing. Their words possessed the power to bring the gods back to life. A stone. A song. Wait. That song Priest sang to help Selfish escape. Is that the same song? And so, the whole song has been recited. No. There is a fifth word, verse. And only the sleeping gods know it. However, if only... If one were to inquire with the gods that recently woke in the Ulgerand range, it is only a matter of time before the fifth and final verse is sung. Or possibly the woman in said, No, I cannot trust you with that information. Good day. Uncle Sid, the Tenshodo just sent a message. Prish has been spotted in Juno. What? Prish, in Juno? They told her that there were, there was a war warrant out for her capture, but she didn't seem to listen. What's wrong? Why would she go and risk being captured? Juno. Perhaps... Perhaps, perhaps she has gone to meet with... Ulmia? Is there something we should know? Master Sid, I must leave for Juno immediately. Ulmia. This doesn't look good. Rybot. Find Tenzin and the Rawls and tell them what has happened. Then hurry to Juno. Tell them not to worry about Mo Movalpolos. I'll have a party of musketeers. No, gold musketeers sent there right away. Lafayette, you had better go to Juno as well. If you can't find Priest, then we'll all meet in front of the Grand Duke's palace and plan our next move. If she's already been captured, then I can guarantee you she'll be somewhere in that building. So I think that's probably chapter 5 here. Let's see. Uh, yes, for whom the verse is sung. Rish has been spotted in Juno. Journey to the Grand Duke's Palace to learn more of her whereabouts before Ulmi is overcome by worry for her longtime friend. We can go ahead and do that. Let's see where uh, the next chapter is heading here. But first, I want to head back to Winders real quick, I think. Um, I 
Let's go with him. And travel to Winder's Woods. Uh, they're looking for, uh, I guess number one is the closest. We're going to go ahead and pick up, uh, a trust here. Well, just to show that we can more than anything else, I think, but. Let's go ahead and flee. And I believe it should be over here. Let's have a chat the shift in us here again. I see, my child. You have heard of this new trust initiative. If it's a scroll you seek, then I bid you to talk to Shigari C. She is a sin hunter, though, through and through. As a bearer of the Fang, she submitted herself wholly to the laws of nature. Those same laws now guide you, giving you the answer to one of the many questions burning in your mind. Have you come to confess your sins? I see you have a Winder's Trust Permit. I too have come to speak with Perry about the very matter. Our friends in Juno said to me, we need your help to fight the Keeper of the Apocalypse. I am not blind. My skills as a Sin Hunter are needed by many. But who can ensure that my alter ego will not be in sin in and of itself? The Motherland's leaders are in constant debate about what this, the, what this new magic can mean for our people. Does it abide by the natural order of things? If the Alter Ego causes a sin, then who is the hunter supposed to track down? Of course, the Queen's stance on the, these issues is as strict as a newborn babe. But the privilege, the, but the prevailing opinion is that the trust magic is permissible. So long as it doesn't violate the natural order and is undertaken by one who is not apt to cause sin. As such, I received a scroll and I am tasked with finding someone from among us sin hunters to engage in the ritual. Who could possibly be more trustworthy than Perry Vashai? I am here today to give that scroll to her. Yet for some reason, she refused. The natural way of things is not for us to decide. The sky and land have that responsibility. So she elected to wait till she received a sign from above. Mm -hmm. What is this smell? It smells of change carried by the western wind. Something about to... Could it be? No, not this time. Something magical is in the air. Memories of my past have come to wafting on the breeze. I smell... Uh, it smells of wyverns. It smells of boneyard gully. No, I do not... Cannot forget where we first fought and where I first fell. You went from being a passerby in my life's road to something much greater. Lafayette, can you not hear the voices of nature? I can hear it speaking to me. It bids me accompany you once more. I pledge to follow you to the last and to guard you with all my strength. 
May your journeys always be filled with great excitement. Yeah. So we've learned a new trust. Uh, I don't think we actually need to use a scroll to get that. I believe she's... Yeah. She's just here. So with that, let's head to June. I think we can spend a few more minutes here looking at the start of chapter 6. Um, on the way though, let's have a look. We set the... Guess we haven't. Uh, let's set the objective for... Ah, uh, oh, we've gone too far. Let's set the objective for make a chapter five. And then we'll head to Juno. Uh, Prelude Gardens, yes please. heading up. Uh, let's head to the... Duke's Manor here. Uh, are we speaking to the Guardian here again? It's very possible that we are. Indeed, it seems. Chapter 6 Echoes of Time. Lafayette, what business do you have here today? If you see Captain Wolfgang, he is currently. You are here about the girl, Preach, and the warrant for her arrest. She presented herself at the palace of her own free will not so long ago. Naturally, she was taken into custody, but her demands for an audience with a higher authority are becoming increasingly vocal. I wonder if Captain Wolfgang will return to it from his duties sometime in the near future. Lafayette, I apologize for interrupting your conversation, but could you walk with me for a moment? Why would Preach surrender herself so easily? I have no idea what she could be thinking. Thank the mercy of Altana that Preach has escaped any punishment while the Genoan government is occupied with other matters. If we could only use this opportunity to rescue her somehow. Lafayette, Ulmia. Tencent. I'm glad to have found you. Have you heard of young Lady Precious' predicament? We need to gather everyone together to unite our actions and plan our next move. The rest of our friends are waiting in a tavern in Upper Juno. A tavern in Upper Juno? Aldo has used his influence to secure the establishment for our exclusive use, if only for a short while. I will wait you on the premises. Until then. So, to Upper Juno we go. That's the wrong way. I don't think we'll be able to speak to our Mughal friend just yet. Speaking of, what's our status currently? Still level 70. I mean... Put some time in this weekend here to do a little bit of grinding to get to 75. Shouldn't be too bad, I think. 
only a couple of hours or so. Uh, and it would be good to actually get there. Uh, current region, Upper Juno. Let's go from the Mog Hats, I think. Right, so we're looking for seven here, I believe. Won't be able to sprint here, unfortunately. Maybe I should have saved it for this part, but it should be fine. So it's probably straight ahead here, I think. Um, now it's actually to the left there, I guess. This is probably it. The Marble Bridge. Lafayette, it's as good to see you. We have finally grasped the entire tapestry that our separate tales have woven. I never believed that something like this was possible. I suggest you prepare yourself before Ul Lady Ulmia arrives. Well, that wasn't much time. Why is everyone so quiet? Is something wrong? Lady Ulmia, we've been waiting for you. Will you steal your heart and listen to the story we have to tell? Of course, we have tried to refute this conclusion and find some other explanation. However, we now know that the boy Selfius has come to thwart the plans of the Ancient Ones and steal the light of the crystals. We also know that the divinity of darkness that rules over the kindred was not Promethea after all. But the Moblins heard from the divinity of darkness that the Keeper of the Apocalypse has already arisen. And surely you have seen the magicite embedded in Precious' chest. According to your explanation, that stone contained the emptiness of the twilight god Promethea. Lady Ulmia, this must come as a shock for one so close to Lady Precious. But I must inform you of the fact that I have learned from the terrestrial avatars of Carbuncle and Fenrir. After 10,000 years, the Keeper of the Apocalypse was fated to be born in the nation of Tabnasia. Surely you're not saying that this Keeper you speak of is Preach? It's impossible, I refuse to believe it. We have been friends since the time before Tabnasia's destruction. I can honestly say that I have never met a person more pure of heart. She has more faith and more courage. How could she be the Keeper of the Apocalypse and still urge Diabolos to save this world? It is true that I do not know of anyone who possesses the zest for life that the Preach has. And if we had it, but the time and the knowledge, we would rescue Lady Preach from this destiny. However, we have no time remaining. A duty lies before us. Lord Bahamut and his minions must be stopped. And, Car and if Cardinal Muldarian is still alive, as we believe, she will be planning to use Preach to awaken the Twilight God. With Preach and her Medicite in the Cardinal's possession, the world is one step away from Oblivion. When Promethea awakens, there will be no stopping the Moblins. Stop it, all of you. You truly intend to do away with Preach. If it means the plans of the working Bahamut will be prevented. That is something I cannot do. The Dulmia. Let her be. The first thing we have to do is rescue Prish from the Grand Duke's palace. I'll start working on a plan. I will call upon some old acquaintances. 
They may be able to help us. I wish no more lives to be lost. I will do what I can. Lafayette, do you agree with our decision? Mm. No, I don't, question mark. Do not let our, our actions concern you. You are free to follow your own path from here. I only ask that you look after Lady Wilmia. She did not take this news well. There is little you can say to comfort her, but at least see her safely to Tamnasia. If you ask for if if you ask the aid of Lady Ashantarl, I am sure your return will be a swift one. Until we meet again. Right. Uh, let's head back up to Reload Gardens. And I believe that's probably where we'll end things here. Tonight, after a, another cutscene here. We'll see uh, where we need to go here next, but I think uh, around two hours here is probably a pretty good place to stop. Particularly since we haven't really left any real space here for editing as such. We could edit out some of the travel time between places here, but I do want to see. I want to keep it um, for showing where we actually went. Lafayette. I must apologize for my childish, childish behavior. I never should have run off in such a flustered state. I do understand what everyone is saying. I understand that the Worm King Bahamut plans to obliterate all the peoples of Anadil. Even with the might of the Juno Armada, many more innocent lives will be lost if this conflict, if something is not done. And I do understand that if everyone, I do understand that everyone truly wishes to rescue Preach from her destiny. However, it is as Lord Diablos has said. We cannot save both the world and all of her people. Lord Diabolos. I wonder if he called Preach into his dream world because he knew the truth of her identity. That she is the keeper of the apocalypse. Was Cardinal Mildarion also aware of this truth? Is that why she gave Preach that amulet? But I still... Lafayette, it may be too late at this point, but there is something I must tell you. When Preach had collapsed and her amulet was gone, stolen... It was only for a second, but I'm pretty damn sure. The presence I felt when the amulet was stolen. It was definitely Miss Mildarion. You're saying that the Cardinal Mildarion took the amulet from you? Why would she act in such a manner? Did not the Cardinal give the amulet to you as a gift? Yeah, she did. Miss Mildarion was always watching over me through the amulet. He was always making sure I wasn't thinking of doing something stupid. For getting myself into trouble. But she needed to take that amulet back. An old, old friend she'd waited for uh, a long, long time for had finally returned. She apologized to me in her thoughts, said that I should be safe while I was in Juno. But then... Colonel Mildorian would have known that we, the survivors of the Great War, were unable to leave the island. She knew, but she did not come to help us. She abandoned us to our fate. No, I don't think so. 
Miss Meldorian left it to me. Left what to you? What was Prish about to say, I wonder? What could Cardinal Meldorian have entrusted to us? Surely not resurrection of the Twilight God. It might be naive of me to believe that you were on my side. However, I am not willing to give up. I want to sing of a world where both Benadil and all of our people are saved. Will you dream of such a world alongside with me? Yes, I'll fight to the end. Thank you, Lafayette. I will once again go to the Grand Duke's Palace. I have not found anything, anyone in town who has information, but Maki Shibuki and the others have probably tracked down some rumors. There must be something we can do to save Preach. There must be someone who knows of the Cardinal. So, that's probably where we'll end things here tonight. Uh, let's have a look at the missions. A place return. Cardinal Midori is somewhere in Juno, and Omias is desperate to find out where she may be hiding. Perhaps the three high-ranking Taro Taro officials know something. Indeed. Anyway, uh, this is where we'll add things here for tonight. Um, pretty happy with how we turned out. We even got a little bit further than I thought we would. Not much further, but a little bit further. Now we're gonna go ahead and head to uh, head down to the uh, warm point area here. Uh, that's the wrong way. Anyway, let's just uh, end the uh, broadcast here then, and I'll go ahead and. Uh, do some more grinding on my own time here when I have the time. Yes, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you all very much for following along. Uh, next time we will be back. We're going to continue with chapter 6 of the Prometheus storyline here uh, before we head back to do some more, a uh, large chunk more actually, uh, of the Rhapsodies of an Ideal storyline. But yeah, before then, I'll probably go ahead and get to level 75 so we can start uh, getting our other progression systems up and running as well. But for now, this is going to be it. Thank you all very much for following along. I'll be back again Monday, where we'll continue on with the uh, Chapter 6 storyline here. And until then, I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves and have a very good time. As always, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Good night, everyone.